right guys welcome back to another episode of m crater lore so today what we're going to be working on are the uh rice textures uh some of these i wanted to retexture in order to make a little bit more uh realistic so i looked up on the internet uh basically what they actually look like i did before but you know got carried away with actually pixelizing and stuff like that that can happen sometimes when you're working on something big, it well, certain shapes take your interest and you kind of divert from the actual uh, objective to create something. So I created a, basically a bush in a sense, which was not a rice plant. Uh, rice is a lot more straight up and um, more singular, more or less in shape. So I basically started with uh, texturing some of the uh, textures and working between frames using the original shades that I used um, for the first one and then I could basically go ahead and texture all this up so basically this is the next stage I wanted it a little bit more taller and um, I needed to kind of figure out where all the um, parts are going right so I needed to kind of figure out the shapes and the, the lines that I was going to be drawing and stuff. So I was just basically experimenting with this part with um, how I wanted to get it set up. So it's okay to delete existing parts when you're making crops and stuff like that. There's no uh, shame in doing that. It's just a matter of, you know, m messing around with the actual shading and stuff uh, and seeing what shapes will actually work with the shades as well as, you know, the actual thing as well. And I was having a little hard time with that little part right there, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I, I figured I would I didn't want it to go out too far. So basically, I, I just started adding the lighter colors and adding more shade and stuff like that. So it kind of blended a little bit better, and I was just kind of giving it a little bit more detail so it would look a little bit better. So, and then I added the light colors on the top here, and that uh, basically consisted what I needed for that one. I needed to go ahead and uh, work on the next stage. So. Um, basically I moved this one, I cropped a little bit of this down because I didn't want it as tall as that. And I had to leave some room for the actual grain part as well, so I needed to keep that in mind. So when I was designing this next layer, I needed to re recolor everything and, um, test to make sure that everything was set up correctly. So, um, by correctly, I mean like, um, make sure that the height is uh, gives me enough height for the actual grain part and I needed to branch out a little bit more so I needed to kind of shade in the, the darker parts at the bottom there because when you're thinking of grass there's going to be a lot of shade at the bottom um, from the grass stems themselves so it's going to also give a little bit more dimension as well when you work on uh, shading and stuff so what when when you have such a sh uh, solid shape like this, having the option to um, detail it with as much color as possible uh, within your uh, like five or six color palette uh, range is really important because you want to express as much detail as you can with minimum of color as possible, right? So it gets a lot harder uh, with larger projects. Um, I have worked on some pretty big projects uh, recently and stuff like that. I actually textured a cathedral for um, a friend and his project. So um, that was a, like a huge image to texture and it took me like three, four days to actually do and it turned out really well. But, um, you know, just playing around with the shading, making sure that everything works with the, uh, the, sh the grass and stuff. Now you can kind of see that I'm playing around with the shading at the bottom here, trying to express as much detail as possible for that uh, bottom part and kind of blend it in with the actual shade. So that's basically what I worked on there. And I was just lightening up some of these other parts and making sure that it looks uh, pretty good. So the next one that I needed is basically to draw the grain part. So I needed to figure out the best locations for these. And I didn't want to go like over the amount that, like the amount that we had there was pretty good. 
but uh, I was just experimenting with this and then I noticed that it would have been too much with all that um, that grain so I just started working with just a few strands of grain and I noticed that wasn't going to be really a feasible location per se for all that so I needed to kind of work it in with the actual grass because you don't want it to like totally um, change the grass and stuff like that you want the grass to still show um, like the stem part but um, you also want to make sure that there's you know you'll understand what the actual image is about right so basically that's what I was doing I was just adding the other shades to the um, green and I figured that would probably do really good for what we needed so it gives the amount of dimension that we need for that I just wanted to kind of spice up the parts in here a little bit more and remove some parts just to give it some texture uh, some shape right so kind of different um, than the stage before it just so it's a little bit different so the next one that I wanted to work on was the one where the um, where it's going into seeding so basically for rice uh, when it comes to seeding that's the best prime time to harvest it in our mod because it will um, give you more seed right so as you can see that I'm kind of playing around with the rotation for paint.net this allows me to kind of rotate the pixels around while keeping the nearest neighbor which makes it not blend which is really important when working with Minecraft textures so basically I was just making it look a little bit more dead and uh, not like completely dead but you know you know starting to go into the next stage so kind of tilting things to the side really helps with that kind of perspective and I just needed to make sure that the, the the grain part itself was all set up and then I could move it over to that stage so I think around this time I started uh, working on just setting up the perspectives uh, for paint.net I needed to do a bunch of stuff in order to um, get the tiles all set up so basically I was just um, sizing it to the, the size so as you can see it was going be seamlessly between the two stages this will allow me to better um, understand what the different stages will look like when they level up right so that's going to be a huge important part when it's leveling up is to make sure that you see the different stages and as you can see that's basically what it will look like up until that point uh, we still have the um, dead version to do which we'll be working on right now so the dead version we're going to again select all this and we're going to move it to its own layer so we can kind of manipulate it and I'm gonna just kind of make it so it goes ahead and uh, kind of turns mostly to the side and stuff I still want it to um, basically look like it's still a plant but just kind of wilted and um, dead right so uh, when it doesn't have as much moisture in it it's going to have less form and it's going to kind of look you know like flopped over and stuff like that in some cases the stem might be uh, strong enough to hold the actual weight but giving that all this uh, grain is still on top here it probably would be top heavy right so we're probably going to want to make sure that it's kind of at its highest rotation for it looking kind of wilted and then I was just working on putting in the colors so basically just adding the colors in had to mess around with some of the textures and stuff like that but uh, got all the colors in from here and just added the final one and there we go we got uh, all the debt all the stages so going from top to bottom it kind of goes like that so looks really good all right so next thing that I needed to do was save all of these and I'm just double checking to make sure that they all look good and I'm going to save all and then just press that button and then it will save it all and then I can finally bring it into M Creator, which I can just uh, replace the textures go into our folder and I'll select all the ones that we changed and there we go they're all in and now just rebooting M Creator, so the textures update in here just to make sure that they're all updated and then I went in a game and just took a look at how it was set up and it looks really good now so 
I'm really happy. So we have the seed stage, all the other stages kind of level up until this point. So that looks really good for the rice crop. I'm pretty impressed how it turned out. And the dead version looks really good too. So that's pretty much it. That's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to, new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.